watch the camera put 50 pounds on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Good morning and welcome to the chill spot. We're not Corinne, but I'm half of uh, the chill spot. Lori, I get to sit in uh, for Corinne today and welcome my guest, uh, Lisa Houck, who is on special projects for NACA and Care Force Elite and everything we do. Hi, so welcome, Lisa. Yeah. Nice to be here. This is Thanksgiving week. Yay. It's One of almost time. turkey time. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I love to eat. Are you making a big spread? Oh, of course I am. Yes, yeah. I'm the cook in the family. So yeah, yeah. Yep. And all the all the strays come to my house. So. Is that it? Yep. Well, we may be showing up. <laughs> That's all right. Know. I have plenty. <laughs> We've yep. been I've been astray before. But <laughs> anyway, let's talk about some of the things. Well, first and foremost, let me say this. I want to give a shout out to Corinne Ganchinitz, who is our uh, board treasurer uh, of NACA, and she's also the full-time host of The Chill Spot. Corinne's out uh, uh, with an illness, and um, we are wishing her the best, and mm -hmm. we're all very worried about her here this morning at The Chill Spot and NACA. And um, Corinne, you probably aren't watching live today, or I mean the segment for today, but if you only knew how many people are praying and thinking about you and, and um, loving on you today from afar, uh, we really are, are with you in spirit for yes, sure. Yes, absolutely. And um, hope for the best for sure. Um, and that's a sad thing to start Thanksgiving week. Uh, I'm sure Corinne is still very thankful even though she's... Um, having a rough time. But, Absolutely. Uh, and I'm thankful for Corinne because uh, we've just met this last year and she is so precious. And well, she I does her so much. much for NACA. I mean, as a board mm -hmm. member, she uh, makes her trips to the studio she does. several times a month. And that's a long so trip for her. It is. Mm -hmm. It's a good four and a half hour drive for wow. her one way just to come on Mondays for her chill spot recordings. And I've been absent for a month now, at least, uh, being in Michigan. So. Yeah. Glad to be. That's one thing I'm thankful for this week is Glad I get know. to be home for Thanksgiving and uh, be back on the chill spot. So um, a lot to be thankful for this year. How about you? What do you, what oh, do you got on your plate of oh, thankfulness? My family and my new job, which I love. Uh, isn't it fun? It is fun. You never know what we're going to do around <laughs> here, I'll tell you. you can, be in Michigan one minute and on TV the next. Yeah, and that, just... that's kind of how it happens. So. Yep, yep. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning. You're, doing the, you're, you're going to be live or be on the chill spot today. So, uh, Lisa Pinch, uh, I think people have been substituting for me now for a month. Yes. Dane, Dane and Lisa. And I know Lisa had to do um, a um, spot filling in for uh, Dane on the long-term care news last oh, week. Oh, she so, did? I yeah. missed that. So. Yeah, she was, uh, Dane was on assignment. He was in Michigan, wasn't that's he? That's right, yes. that's right. <laughs> so anyway, Thursday, just in a few days, four days, we're going to have uh, Thanksgiving dinner around here, and I assume most everybody out there mm -hmm. will be having turkey or ham or tofurkey or... <laughs> Or Tur Duncan? Tur Duncan. Yeah. Have you ever had any of that tofurkey? No, no, and I will not be. There's yeah. F, there's another F. There's another F word I use for tofurkey. <laughs> And yeah, I won't be having this, that. Get this tofu <laughs> furky off my plate. Yes, and I don't want that. Bring on the real stuff. But I'll tell you, everybody likes it different. The cran. I've I've always preferred the canned cranberry jelly over to the most beautiful. I mean, I love the way a cranberry salad or people Looks, make yeah. it for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. The traditional stuff. Yeah. I still prefer that canned stuff that just slices mm -hmm. up real nicely. You know, it mm -hmm. comes right out of the can. I put them both out. So. <laughs> Yes, which one? Have... Which one gets eaten the most? Um, the about evenly, but oh, I okay. love the canned stuff to put on sandwiches afterwards. Oh yes, yeah. well that makes perfect slice mm -hmm. for your mm -hmm. turkey sandwich, and really that is, uh, I think that's what everybody waits for is that uh, after Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. Yes, those are the best. Do you like dark meat or white meat? I like all meat. All meat. <laughs> You're not picky. I'm on not your picky. Meat. <laughs> No. Well, I'll tell you, Thanksgiving is the time I miss my mom the most. Oh, I bet. Because it just never, she's been gone 13 years now, and it just doesn't wow. seem like Thanksgiving without her. And 
she made this salad that um, I have tried to, I don't know why I didn't pay, you know, it's a shame when you're a kid and you don't pay any attention yes. to what's going on. And then one day you wake up and the recipe never was written down and the per your mom is gone and you have to guess at yes. how to make this stuff. But anyway, it was fruit. I know I, I get it pretty close, but my sister was always disgusted at the color of it because oh. she said it was very off-putting. Oh. And uh, since it's a healthcare show, I guess I can say it. She always called it pus salad. Ooh, behind, <laughs> that does not sound appetizing. Behind my no. mom's back. Oh. And I didn't care what it looked like. It just tasted <laughs> yummy. But I did learn from my sister, if you put a little maraschino cherry juice in it. It, it makes takes, it red. It yeah. makes it pink. So okay. it's, it's, it's much more uh, attractive. Okay. That way. But anyhow. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about the dinner, as you could tell. But. Yeah. You know, I've been living with Drake Taylor for a month in Michigan. Oh. Actually, the better part of two months, I just came back for Matt's wedding. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I performed a wedding. So uh, Matt said, you can. I could add that to my resume you can. Of, of expertise. So if anybody out there wants me to officiate their wedding, just let me know because be I'm pretty cheap. <laughs> we know that about her, but you know. <laughs> well... <laughs> That's why I'm here, you know. I can't everybody charge a lot? That's right. That's, That's right. right. Anyway, so Thanksgiving uh, Thursday, and Gary tells us it's his wife's birthday on Thursday also. So Nancy Omar gets a shout out today because Happy uh, birthday. not only is it her birthday, but it's Thanksgiving She's day probably going to well. work all day. Cooking. Cooking. I hope mm -hmm. not. I hope Gary does some of it, you know. That'd be nice. I don't know if Gary can cook. Though. He could open a can of cranberry sauce, I bet. Yeah, but yeah. he can't make the real cranberry stuff. <laughs> well. So see, Gary's my kind of guy. <laughs> Gary gets, but he's always behind the camera making everybody. And well, I don't know if he can make us look good, but sure he can. Right before we went on, Lisa and I were comparing our waddles for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mine hangs whichever side I slept on that night. So sometimes before we get on air, we gotta <sighs> massage those up. But you know, why not be who you are? That's that's who we are. That's right. So and we're talk, thankful for it. Exactly. So talk about something. Talk about something. Yeah. Um, this is your debut show. This is my debut so show. Um, don't let me do all of it. Well, I'm, one other thing I'm thankful for is that Lexi's going to be home. If you all have been to CNA Fest, Lexi that performs is my daughter. And uh, so I get to have her home first, from college. First year at college. Freshman in college. And I'm missing her. And I'm glad she's going to be home. I know she's probably looking more forward to eating than visiting, but... Well, That's another new development, do. I don't, I assume we've, yeah, we've announced it, I think, because it's been out there, but we have the dates for 2020 <gasps> CNA Fest, we don't do. we? We do. CNA Fest is going to be August 19th and 20th at the Vine Center in Little Rock. Back at the Vine Center. Mm -hmm. The beds are hard, but we don't sleep in them too much. <laughs> we're not in bed much when we're there. But, That's true. Uh, we're going to put on another great show, and the theme is... Uh, 2020 Vision. 2020 Vision. And so go to our website, go to our Facebook, go to wherever we are, YouTube. Yep. Um, Where are, are we? We are on YouTube. We're on Instagram. We're on Pinterest. We're on um, Twitter. We're on LinkedIn. We might be, but me ain't. We are ain't. everywhere. Me ain't. <laughs> But well, it, you are, but I do. I oh, am you, you, so. you. That's right. Lisa <laughs> also handles all my speaking engagements and book my bookings. So um, if you'd like to have me out and about or anyone uh, would um, want to see me live, Lisa's yeah. the one to contact. Absolutely. So. We'd love to come visit. Well, listen, we're not going to take up any more of your uh, Monday morning and uh, let you get out there and make things happen on this Thanksgiving week. and. Yeah. Be thankful. We certainly are thankful for each other and all the and service. You. And you. We're thankful for you. Exactly. We have a lot more to talk about this week, so stay tuned for Wednesday's show and Friday's show and next Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Lots of good programming here at CNA TV. We just followed the gentleman poet here in the studio. Yeah. And always nice to bump into him, and uh, we'll see you uh, on Wednesday. And until then, um, knock it out.